For this project, you will need some scratch paper, some blank paper, a pencil, and eraser, and colors. They can be markers, crayons, or colored pencils. Hey guys, uh, my name is Teacher Felicia and today we're going to talk about drawing an African woman. Okay, so we'll go through, this isn't going to be two lessons. The first lesson we're going to go through how to draw a face and the second lesson we'll go through some different African hairstyles as well as textures and patterns that are well known throughout Africa, different countries in Africa. So we'll go ahead and start with the face. And I have a couple images as well. I'm going to do quick drawings on here so you can watch and then I'll show some other drawings um, a little bit closer so you can see some varieties as well. So the head is shaped something like that. I'm going to do a little bit more of an oval. When we draw, a lot of times we put the eyes at the top of the head, but our eyes are really right in the middle of our head. So it's one half is right in the middle. So our eyes are right here. Now, these eyes are a little big. The size of the eye is in the middle and the size of the eye is on the outside. So one eye, one eye, one eye, and one eye. So each eye is one fifth. So mine are too big. Let's make them a little bit smaller. So this is half of the head, half of the head, half of the head. One quarter of the head is right between where the lips and the nose are. So one quarter, one quarter. And one quarter is one half of one half. So right about here is this area somewhere in there. I'm going to draw three little bumps for the nose and the mouth is right in there as well. The mouth goes to the center of the eyes. And my face isn't perfect. Yours doesn't need to be perfect either. That's why we're learning. It's an art class, an art lesson, right? Practice makes better. Ears are from the eye down to the mouth. How much space is that? Hmm. Let's, if we have a circle and half of the circle is the eyes and a quarter is the mouth and the ears are from here to here. Hmm. Let's do it like this. It is also one quarter. So the ears are one quarter. And we will come back later to add hair. But for now, I will show you the proportions on the other one that's already completed. So as you're drawing, so you can see halfway down are the eyes. Half of that is the space between the mouth and the nose. And the ears are about this, about one quarter of the height of the head as well. All right, there you go. Those are the proportions of a face. And I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson. We will talk about different hairstyles as well as some traditional African patterns. See you soon. When you're talking with the people who you live with tonight, maybe ask or think about what types of patterns do you wear? Do you wear plaid? Do you wear something more intricate? Do you wear stripes? What pat do you wear spots and animal print? What patterns do you wear? That is part of your culture.